Hey guys, so in this video we can go through a little golf workout you can do at home using just resistance bands. And I've got a thicker band, I've got a sort of thinner one, and I've got a loops band. Okay, here we go. So make sure you've done some sort of warm up, some dynamic stretches can be a great place to start before you do any of these exercises. First up, we're going to start with a squat. We're going to squat with a midi band um, around our knees. So. Feet shoulder width apart, okay, arms out in front, squatting down, okay, not letting the band pull the knees inwards, okay, trying to keep the chest nice and tall throughout. So next up, we've got a lateral step with rotation, okay, so I'm going to step backwards, okay, and take a back swing, so step forwards, back swing, come back, okay, just moving my trail arm and lead leg, opposite to each other, and then same, as if I'm left-handed. So next up, I'm going to do a split squat. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, heavy band for this one. And so, under the front foot, big step back behind, onto your toes, okay, nice and tall upper body. Pinching your shoulders back here, knee down on the control, standing back up nice and tall, okay. Make sure nice tall upper body, back knee down, as low as you comfortably can go. So next up, I'm going to do a kickstand deadlift, okay, so band under my front leg, okay, onto my back toes, so 99% of the weight on this leg, uh, lead leg, hips backwards, good hip hinge backwards, nice control downwards, up nice and tall, bum squeeze, shoulders back at the top, nice control, nice posture downwards, okay, nice and tall posture at the top. So next up, I'm going to do lat pull down, so I've attached my Band up high, okay, sitting up nice and tall, rowing down, elbows into my back pockets, back up under control, making sure nice posture throughout, working on this kind of somewhat vertical pull. Next up, I'm going to do a seated row, okay, so I'm going to do high elbows, so for upper back, so grab and hold, sit nice and tall, elbows back. Okay, nice and high, back down under control, going again, okay, focusing on pinching the shoulders back in this end position, compared to elbows tucked in, which is maybe a little bit more sort of lap dominant, compared to up back dominant. So for a pressing move, okay, horizontal pressing move, we can go for a push up, so you can do this from the floor, um, so from the knees, or from the toes, Aiming to keep stomach like you brace, nice straight posture throughout the whole move and getting a good range of motion as, as much as possible. So next up we're going to do a shoulder press, I'm going to do a half knee in, so I'm going to put the band underneath my front foot. Okay, pressing up and back down under control. Okay, great one for working on shoulder strength and stability, particularly nice control movement on the way down against that sort of uh, the band. So next up, we're going to do a rotation, a sort of horizontal rotation with the bands, nice and quick on the way out and controlled, coming back in. So a good one for speed, but also core, sort of strength and speed too. So next we're going to do a little wood chop or reverse wood chop, so I'm going to come into a slightly squatted stance, feet shoulder width apart, band anchored low, both hands on, you know, extend through the legs and pull, chop upwards, okay, above my shoulder. Back down, repeat, aiming to be nice and quick, nice and explosive on the way out, again controlled, coming back down. Another good core exercise can just be a body weight plank, okay, or side plank, so elbow below shoulder, feet on top of each other, hips up, shoulders back, and holding this position can be a great place to start, or easier still, from the knees, feet tucked in behind this side bridge position, can be a good 